An Arizona police chief supports an officer's decision to smash his patrol car right into an armed suspect. Now, we first told you about this last night. The crash was caught on dash cam video, actually several videos. We want to warn you, it is graphic. Here's the moment of the impact. A uh, unit right there, just stands off, stands off. The gun is, gun is loaded. Unit on Quotero Park, stay off. Strike, land down. So the question, of course, is how did it get to that point? Police say the suspect was responsible for a string of robberies that that very day in the hours leading up to that moment and that he had discharged his weapon. Sarah Seidner reports. Investigators say Mario Valencia's day began at 6.45 a.m. here at this 7-Eleven where he robbed it in his underwear. Then police say he made a stop here at Tucson Baptist Temple, where he broke in and started a fire. Soon after, he ended up on this block committing a home invasion and police say stealing a car. That was all before 9 in the morning. Finally, he ended up leaving Tucson, driving 25 miles away to Monera. But he wasn't done yet. Investigators say he went to this Walmart, where surveillance video shows he stole a gun and ammunition, then scurried out with Walmart security on his tail. You don't want to do this. Police say that same gun shown here when they caught up with him in their final encounter. At first, police were unsure if he'd been able to release the store lock on the gun. All right, one round just went out uh, into the sky. It's definitely unlocked now. It's definitely loaded. But then... This is about where suspect Valencia was hit from behind. He was hit so hard, according to an eyewitness, his body flew over this barrier. And you can see what's left of the barrier after the police car smashed into it. To the left of me is a Coca-Cola plant filled with workers. Behind me, a manufacturing plant. And right here, a self-storage office. Oh! Did police do the right thing? A resounding yes from the chief. Why do you think it was necessary for the officer to use that? particular tactic. The tactic that he used wasn't something certainly that we train or even that uh, would probably be something suggested. It's something that came to him at the moment based on the totality of uh, the circumstances, everything that was going on around him. He was literally 15 second walk away from the front doors to two major businesses in our community and if he gets into one of those businesses um, well, you know, we're having a totally different conversation right now, quite frankly. So I think it was absolutely imperative that somebody take action. The concern was he might go on a shooting spree, but his attorney balks at that idea and says the officer made a terrible judgment. Do you think the officer should be criminally investigated or prosecuted? I do. I do. Because I think that this was absolutely um, an inappropriate um, use of force, an excessive use of force. And Sarah Seidner joins us now with more. So this happened back in February. Why is the video just now being released? You know, it's interesting. We didn't get a great answer to that question, but we do know that the defense attorney has said she just received it herself. In fact, the first time she saw the video was on CNN. So she's trying to figure out why when she did discovery, she wasn't given that video along with the other evidence that she was handed over from the county prosecutor's office. We're still trying to get answers to that question.